All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. Real quick before we get started, I know I've been saying this a lot recently, but I just wanted to say thanks again for all the support on the channel recently. That freaking Modern Warfare 2 remastered video, man, it's got over 2,000 views now. Been seeing a lot of likes, a lot of comments, a whole bunch of new subscribers. And the reason I'm saying this again is because today, I just realized it's not even been three months since I was celebrating the fact that I'd hit 50 subscribers on the channel. And now here I am less than three months later and I've just hit 150. I always say that I'd still be doing videos no matter how many or how few people were watching, but it's always definitely way more fun to know that people are enjoying your content. Anyway, today's probably gonna be a quick video. I don't really have a whole lot planned. Honestly, I don't even know what I wanna do. You know what, fuck it. I'm gonna try C4 out. I don't think I've ever used C4 on this game. Come to think of it, I don't really see anybody ever using C4 actually. I wonder if it's just that bad. But yeah, I'm gonna run around with C4. I kinda felt like doing something stupid because uh, I'm done with today, man. Like today has just been one of those days. You know what I mean? Like I'm just not here for it. Speaking of which, sorry for not uploading today. I was actually going to. I had a video recorded and everything. But the problem is my whole Sunday just went off the rails so fucking quickly, dude. So the first thing that happened immediately is I woke up like way late. And when I woke up, I felt like complete garbage. Like for no reason, you know? Like it's so weird. I wasn't drinking last night. I wasn't, I mean, I was up pretty late. I didn't sleep a whole lot, but like I didn't sleep any less than I normally do. I just woke up super duper late and felt like crap. And like I had a lot of shit I wanted to get done today too, you know? Like I had this big project for school that I wanted to work on because I have to present it tomorrow. Oh my... How did that not, wait, did he stim? So basically because of this, like after waking up late and all that shit, I was like, all right, I'm just not gonna make a video today. I'll just scrap the video I recorded. It probably wouldn't have been like that great anyway. So yeah, basically I was like, screw it. I'll scrap the video and then I'll work on all this stuff I have to do today. seems like a good idea, right? And then of course in classic me fashion, I somehow managed to get literally none of it done. Well, I can't say literally none of it. I made some progress. Basically the shit I had to do was I had to look up a whole bunch of like academic articles on this topic I'm supposed to be researching. And then I was supposed to like read about them and sort of come up with a preliminary proposal for this project I'm supposed to be presenting tomorrow. And it's the second half of that that I didn't really get to. Because the problem is, man, dude, I just hate reading academic articles. I can't stand it. Like, the language is so pretentious. They're written almost deliberately so that people can't understand them. As if it's like some kind of modern art fucking nonsense where they make it deliberately hard to understand so they can be like, ah, oh, you're just not sophisticated enough to know what we're talking about and all that type of shit. So what kept happening was like, I would read a whole fucking page and then like at the end of the page, I would realize I have no idea what the fuck I read. And like, not even that, like I didn't understand what I read. Like literally I would read a page and then realize like I didn't actually absorb any of the information because I was zoning out so fucking hard. Why did you, why? So yeah, that's the kind of day I'm having. Not only did I not upload, but the reason I didn't upload didn't even turn out to be like a good idea. So anyway, I basically just committed to being up all night at this point. Like I'm gonna record this video, work out, hopefully get a little bit more of the project done, edit some of the video, and then hopefully I won't leave myself too, too much to do in the like three hours I have before my class starts tomorrow. I forgot I was supposed to be using C4 for a second. I... How in the fucking world, dude? I swear to God, I get stuck more than anybody. Like... I did not mean to do that. I keep getting into these situations where I think I have tomahawks on. So anyway, yeah, that's the type of day I'm having. Just an overall solidly 2 out of 10 fucking day, you know? Come on, bro. Dude, Sprint to Fire being the way that it is in this game was one of the worst fucking design decisions ever. I hate it so much. I hate the fact that like my Sprint to Fire time is longer than the animation of my gun actually coming up to my hip. Like, let me fucking no scope. Don't have me sitting here spamming the right trigger and then just nothing happening. Like my guy just forgot how to use a weapon for a second. Also, by the way, look at the kill feed real quick. I'm not sure why this is the case, but the kill feed emblems for both of the new guns that came out in the battle pass are backwards. Have anybody else notice that? Like, it literally doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but it just bothers me. Why is it like that?
dude, I keep... Uh, <laughs> I can't stand this game sometimes. Speaking of the new weapons, actually, I do have the Galil a good bit leveled up. I don't think I have a multiplayer class for it, so I can't show it yet, but I did spend a little bit of time getting that leveled up some. I don't think I'm gonna make a video on it just yet, though. I kind of want to save it until I get that uh, reactive blueprint that's in the battle pass. I should be getting it pretty soon, though. Like, I'm blowing through the battle pass this season. It's actually really quick. If you're trying to get through the battle pass quickly, 100% the best way to do it, play zombies. Zombies is easily the best way to get through the battle pass. All you have to do is exfil on Honestly, like if you exfil, you get so much battle pass XP, it's not even funny. Also, you're not seeing any C4 in this gameplay because I'm beginning to understand why people don't use it. It's kind of crap. All right, fair enough. But yeah, so actually that is a good thing. Uh, if any of you out there are like struggling playing multiplayer to try and grind your battle pass or your levels or whatever, I would highly recommend zombies, not even just Outbreak. Like playing the regular maps, if you exfil, it's actually super efficient for getting your battle pass done. Last season, I want to say I finished the whole battle pass in the first two weeks. Like that's how quick it is. Speaking of stuff with the new season, I wanted to talk about Miami Strike again. Cause I actually did look at the patch notes and I did realize that they're not actually going to add it until mid season or later on this season anyway. So that kind of sucks. I I was looking forward to that. But anyway, it's kind of interesting. They said in the description, they try and focus the gameplay on the side of the map with like the garage on it and the buildings. So like if you're on the hotel side, that'd be the left side of the map with like that alleyway and stuff. And that's kind of weird. I would have done it the opposite way. I would have kind of cut things off like that back area with the garage and stuff. I would have just cut that whole side of the map off and started at the hotel. I mean, I guess for the purposes of like balancing the map, this makes more sense. Cause like removing just a big open beach, obviously that's not gonna affect a whole lot as far as gameplay is concerned. I'm so awful. I am the worst player on the fucking planet, dude. Get wrecked. I literally had no idea that guy was behind me. But yeah, I am kind of sad that they're cutting off that beach part of Miami. I really like that part of the map. I mean, obviously as a sniper, I like the, you know, the open areas where I can actually do my thing. But yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see how that plays because I've said it a whole bunch at this point. I really like the aesthetic of Miami. I like its design and the way it looks and stuff. It's just the map plays like dog shit. I'm, uh, dude, I'm always like right there, man. I'm right there and I just whiff. I didn't think that was gonna work. Wait a minute, what? Okay, I don't understand this. This happens to me a lot. Why do sometimes when you get shot, why do the bullets like push you? Have you guys noticed that? Cause like right there, that guy shooting me, I meant to like poke my head out and the bullets pushed my whole body out of the cover I was under. Like, why does that happen sometimes? Oh fuck. I can't believe it. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. You absolutely deserve to die right there. I shouldn't have killed either of them. Oh my god, I don't deserve that. I guess I do deserve that. I didn't really aim that high. Whatever, man. Oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, by the way, I saw a little bit more stuff about that new sniper rifle that's supposedly coming this season. Or not supposedly, it is coming this season. It was confirmed. And I don't know, man, it looks interesting. So the dev showed a little bit of gameplay of it, like just a little bit. And it does look kind of slow, but it looks beefy as fuck. Like, I don't know. I feel like I could come to enjoy it. It depends on if there's going to be extended mags or not, because the big thing that everybody seems to be worried about is not only is it going to be slow, but Apparently, there's only going to be three bullets per magazine, but I don't know if that's default or if there's any way to adjust that, because if you can get extended mags and get that shit up to like five or even four, I could definitely see that being like a secondary on a swap class or something and actually having a pretty decent role in the game, you know? But yeah, so we'll see about that. The gameplay that I did see, it definitely looked slow, like almost concerningly slow. But again, I don't know if that was like just the default or if it was all souped out or anything. Like, I don't know if like the best attachments were on it or whatever, so I can't really judge from what I saw. Anyway, that's about it for this one. Sorry if it was a little short. Like I said, I didn't really have anything to talk about. And honestly, I originally wasn't even going to make a video today because I was supposed to make a video yesterday and then everything just got fucked up because of this day I'm having. Hopefully I can get all this work squared away as soon as possible. And then I can be back to being a lot more consistent. Anyway, yeah, as always, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.